There you go, John. Now then, ladies and gentlemen, we're down at camp. It's been about three weeks since the last time I came down. And as you can tell, we've had a bit of a flood. The flood happened about a week ago. Look at this tree in the background here. It's snapped in half because of all the heavy winds. Uh, basically, all the perimeters has been washed away. But I can see pretty much everything hanging around. Uh, so today, the plan is, we're just going to tidy up. Make sure we've got perimeter around the place again and just spruce the place up. Uh, I apologise now uh, if the um, recording isn't very good. I've forgotten my microphone and my flash and all sorts of stuff. So I do apologise. But first things first, let's have a brew. Just having a look about. And there's one of the pallets that we had in the back corner, along with the drum. All the wood that we had surrounding the, the perimeter all seems to have washed up here. So we don't have very far to walk. Also found the red gas canister which we used to like balance his phone on or to get up into trees. To be honest, I thought um, I'd have had a lot of worse damage. But as you can see, I've got my hat hard on. I mean, I've got my hat hard on. I said it again. I've got my hat hard on. Still got bits of tidying to do, but I'll start scraping back all the crap that were in this corner and I put the perimeter around, brand new perimeter. So we've got all around here. I'm going to use that uh, to make the bed more sturdier in the log cabin. Got all around here. This tree here was originally in that spot, cut from that stump there. We retrieved it back up. And we've got logs all the way around here. And right at the end here, built another stall. Yeah, just for putting all the crap and barrels in. I found three pallets, brought them back, I put some uh, stakes in just to make it a bit sturdier. We've got the barrels under there and pots and pans and whatnot. So like I said, I'm just going to take that bed out of there. I'm going to get some new little logs under there and just sturdy that bed up and just give it a scrape out. And there we have it. New logs, top and bottom. I scraped it out as best I could. It's quite muddy. Move bench up a bit. And I'm going to leave that coffee table in here. Because it's a bit, I think it's a bit too good to be outside, really. A bit of decoration for a cabin in it. I can also move that flag so it's a bit uh, square with the fire. <clears throat> sort of like a little cooking station for when you're cooking in here next to the fire. I've just finished putting this bed back together. It moved a bit because of the floods. I'll straighten it out. Knock some stakes into the ground to make it a bit more sturdy and it's right as rain. No pun intended. <laughs> There's the bench. Right then. As you can hear, it's absolutely pouring down. Real good productive day today. Got all the perimeter put back around the camp and scraped all the shovels out. 
I've sorted all the beds out because uh, some of the logs have been washed away and uh, some had snapped. I've sorted them all out, put it all back as it should be. Uh, put a store in the uh, far corner, made out of pallets that I found around the island. Good seeing Paul as well, not seen him for a good month. So I've just got to pack my bags and get the hell out of here. I'll leave you with the sights and sounds of the camp. I'll see you again very soon. Take care, everybody.